a lot of days I'm really like a nigga in a girl's body. <laughs> like I write like a dude sometimes. I think like a guy sometimes. Um, especially when it comes to like my work, I'm, I'm, I can be in, in, in a room full of men, working with a room full of men and fit in with the guys. Like, um, I don't think they know that I'd be like, you know, gathering my own personal research for myself as a woman. They don't know all of that part, but that ain't for them to know. But I really be in there. They're like, oh, no, you can say that stuff. Cool. Yeah, go right here and say it because I'm going to sit back here and I'm going to gather all this information. But no, um, even in terms of the way that I write, which I, which is why I think that I write male records very comfortably because I'm used to being uh, in those working environments. I hear all y'all conversations, like the conversations that y'all or don't think that you should have around females, y'all slip up and have, they slip up and have those conversations around me. But it, it's, it's, a, it's a good thing and a bad thing because when it comes time for me to date, I don't really, um, you can't really, you know, come with the bullshit with me because I, I've heard it all. I've heard it all, I've seen it all. Like, you know, it don't really work on me. And sometimes I wish I was a little more um, naive to the BS sometimes. Um, but I, I, I just see it all. I mean, I've written, just imagine the male artists that I've written for and that I've been around. I've, I've heard and seen it all. <laughs> How does it help? In, well, with relationships, it just helps me have more of a mouthpiece. I talk a lot of, you know, shit in my relationships. And it's funny, it's, it's cute banter back and forth. But, but because, you know, let a guy say something like, oh, like try to say some funny like you trying to run game oh you oh I, I didn't go there I went to such and such I'll be looking like now you know I don't come on dude like it's not gonna get, at least try a little bit you gotta get a little bit more creative because that's not gonna work I know I know the real real I know the BS you gotta really like if you're gonna try to pull some slick shit you better really be on your P's and Q's because I've really I've, I've seen I've heard I've heard it all especially at this point um, I wish that the knowledge that I have, because now I, that I have the knowledge of working with so many guys and I have that and being in the space where I am right now in terms of just me being a young woman and I know how to balance it all out. I wish that I would have been in this mind state when I was in my past relationships and I would have known then how to, um, to deal with certain things back then like how I do right now. I wish I knew how to do those things back then. Cause right about now, I feel like I'm just very straightforward with the men that, that you know, with dating in general, you know what I mean? Like, you're not really gonna pull too many things over me right about now. Is it hard to date being in the business? Well, I'm single, so hell yeah, I guess it's hard. It is very hard. I'm not even gonna lie, it's real hard. I'm trying this, this, this. It's hard, you know, it's hard for a couple of different reasons. Um, people always ask, are men intimidated? I don't know why they would be, but I guess maybe sometimes they are. Um, and, and if I step back and look at it, I guess maybe for, for some men, it's not the most comfortable thing for them to have the girl working in studios to, you know, four or five, five o'clock in the morning with male producers, male artists, male writers. Like, I guess that can be a lot to take on if I have to really, really sit back and think about it. But at the end of the day, it all, you have to trust me. It, it all comes down to me. Like, you know, and know that like, dude, like I have way too much respect for myself to, first and foremost, you know, for myself to let anything go down. And then secondly, I would have respect for whoever it is that I'm dating, I'm dealing with too. But I guess, um, I don't know, some men can't deal, can't deal with that girl, I guess working around men who have maybe a lot of money or a lot. So, I mean, I'm still single hell. So a lot of them must be, and I guess maybe they do feel some way about it. So I don't know. From my experience of just like, dating, from writing records with men, um, just from working with them, being able to be in the room full of guys and hear their perspective on things. Um, I feel like I've been able to take all of that intel and I've used it to my advantage. I've, I've, I've paired it with the way that I naturally think as a woman. I mean, I've written an entire album about it, truth be told. like. For me, Girl Disrupted is all about life, love, and relationships, truth be told. Um, it forced me to look at the way that I deal with um, with love and with dating and with men and um, 
a couple things that I've, you know, realized about myself or just realized throughout all of that is that for one, you can't, you shouldn't have to force anybody to do anything. Men are going to, they, if they, if somebody's interested in you, if somebody wants you, they're going to let you know that you ain't really got to do a lot. You don't have to chase. You don't have to play the games. You don't have to do any type of trickery. Um, you know, and I, like I said, I write about it all the time. You know, I have a song on my album called like before I do. And for me, before I do is talking about 